Hey there. Not nerdy enough for you? Is this better? No, I'm, I'm kidding. I actually don't wear glasses. I am, despite my lack of glasses, a very, very nerdy person, as I am displaying by my wonderful Hardest Type 40 shirt, which I made myself, as if to add to the nerdiness, and it's actually a bit small for me, so that's why it looks a bit weird. Be seen in the video. I have another t-shirt that I made myself that says... That angels have a blue box or don't blink. Wow, that's weird that I can't even remember my own t-shirt. Also, I have one more t-shirt which I want to show you because I would say that it is the nerdiest of them all. Uh -huh. That's right, it is all of the doctors in order from 1 to 11. And just in case you doubted me for even a second, I can name them off by heart in order. I have all of them, apart from the Fault in Our Stars which is arriving on the 29th. I have, um, well, we're... I also read a lot, like a lot of books. I have just a selection here for you. Of course we have the John Green books, Rojas, the one with the unpronounceable name, uh, Rosanna. Um, yeah, it's signed by a lot of people, but I've lent it to my friends, so I don't have it with me, which is a bit of a fail, but still, I think that counts being pretty nerdy. I don't know if you have these where you are, but when you, if you're, um, little in England, or Britain, I guess, you will have read at least one of these books because these are the best books you have ever seen in your whole entire life. Horrible histories. I'm just going to read off the list of the ones that I own that I have currently now because I gave a lot away when I was young. The Blitzed Brits, the Groovy Greeks and the Rotten Romans. The Terrible Tudors and the Slimy Stuarts. Seriously though, what is my life now? 